Do you want to invest in real estate but aren't sure which cities will yield the highest return? I've got you covered. This video will go over the 10 best cities in Canada to invest in real estate this year to get you on track to financial freedom. Stay tuned until the end of the video where I'll share three major factors you need to consider before purchasing real estate in any of these markets. Hey, what's up? Darren Voros here. My mission is to help you reduce your real estate education time from months to minutes. Subscribe not to miss what's coming. Canada has one of the world's hottest real estate markets with both local and international investors coveting properties in the country. I still believe Canada has plenty of opportunities if you know where to look and if you know what you're doing. Except for Calgary, spoiler alert, every city on this list has had a one-year average price increase of more than 20%. While those kinds of numbers are far from a guarantee each year, I've seen markets in Canada produce these kinds of returns multiple years in a row. And while I know many novice investors tend to want to invest where they live, the most savvy investors I know Know, look for opportunity and follow that opportunity. If you're investing outside of your home market, it can be slightly more complicated, but at the same time, if you can build a great team, your numbers are solid, and you can find a repeatable system, there is seemingly no limit to how much wealth you can build. So here are the top 10 cities to invest in in 2022 in no particular order because let's face it, we all have different needs as investors and real estate is not a one size fits all. Windsor, Ontario. Windsor, Ontario is situated across the Detroit River from Detroit. As a result, many Canadians and Americans commute from one city to another. Windsor is Canada's third fastest growing metropolis. Windsor is also one of Canada's more affordable cities with an average house price at just over $450,000. This makes it an ideal spot for beginners looking to break into the real estate market. Windsor is also beginning to see revitalization in its job and work sector. Properties in Windsor are selling very quickly, which is great if you're a seller, but it's made for a competitive market for buyers. Hamilton, Ontario. Hamilton is known for being a blue collar industrial city, but in recent years, Hamilton has been on the top places to invest in the country list for many reasons. The area is home to top healthcare institutions and a booming restaurant and food industry. The price to buy real estate in Hamilton compared to Toronto is quite tame. And the price gap between Burlington and Hamilton is over $300,000 and they're only a 15 minute drive from one another, which tells you that Hamilton still has room to grow from a price perspective. The average price in Hamilton is just under $650,000. I still think there's plenty of opportunity to find underperforming properties in areas of Hamilton that are poised to gentrify. Be ready for a more difficult tenant profile here in the short term though. Vancouver, BC. It would be pointless to talk about the top national places to invest in real estate without mentioning Vancouver, of course. The city is home to jaw-dropping mountain views and renowned for its fresh seafood. In addition, Vancouver has incredible natural amenities and a fantastic transportation network. The Metro Vancouver area is home to 21 municipalities with an array of properties to invest in for people coming to the country. When immigrants land in Canada, about one third of them will end up in Vancouver, which creates constant demand for rental housing. Guelph, Ontario. In 2020, MoneySense.ca listed Guelph as its best real estate market to buy a house. The city is home to the University of Guelph and it's nearby to many agricultural communities. However, Guelph is still close to the 401, which makes it a very popular destination for those who work in Toronto and need to commute every day, especially now that many companies are offering remote work. Guelph has a very small unemployment rate and is becoming a new leader among amongst Canadian cities in terms of environmental sustainability initiatives. Guelph is undergoing huge growth and a rising population. Data shows Guelph is one of the fastest rising markets and is abundant with space for families to live for years to come. Kelowna, BC. This gorgeous city on Lake Okanagan has great weather, so it's no surprise that tourism is one of the main drivers of the economy here. There are lots of beaches and trails for outdoor activities with kids and dogs, and Kelowna has plenty of dog-friendly wineries, so personally, I'm a fan. In addition to tourism, Kelowna's major employers include its wineries and orchards. House prices in Kelowna are towards the higher end for first time buyers, but there are still development opportunities in the city. And if you can find a lot with good zoning that allows for multiple suites, Kelowna rents are comparable to Vancouver. Ottawa, Ontario. The city is not only gorgeous and historically significant, but it's also very family friendly. Ottawa has a robust economy, high wages, outdoor markets, museums, and fantastic parks. The federal government being the main employer here has always kept Ottawa as a very stable and sound investment but the price increases have been significant here over the past few years. The city is also full of raised bungalows, which are perfect for converting to up and down duplexes. Ottawa was also one of the first municipalities to approve coach houses. So if you can put in an extra suite in the backyard and two in the house, you've got strong cash flow potential. Calgary, Alberta. Calgary is Canada's fourth biggest city with all of the benefits of urban life at a fraction of the expense of the larger cities like Toronto and Vancouver. Calgary is located in the heart of the prairies, 
has all of the conveniences of a big city while still having the Rocky Mountains at its backyard. In less than 90 minutes, you can ski or hike in Banff and Canmore. Calgary is one of the most affordable cities in the country with an average property price of less than $500,000. Furthermore, Alberta has among the highest average salaries and lowest income taxes, making it an excellent spot to start building wealth. Alberta also doesn't have any rent control and allows for damage deposits, so it's much more landlord friendly than most of the other locations across Canada. Another perk is there's no land transfer taxes here, which really helps keep your costs down. Nanaimo, BC is a tiny city located on Vancouver Island's eastern coast. In my opinion, Vancouver Island is one of the most beautiful places in Canada. It has a population of 100,000 people. It's a popular tourist destination because it's a major ferry port. Nanaimo is great if you want a calm island lifestyle with the possibility of visiting Vancouver on the spur of the moment. The main employers are the provincial government, tourism, retail, and service, while tech is a growing industry too. Even though it's one of the most expensive places to live in Canada, Nanaimo is well worth the investment if you're looking for a diverse demographic of tenants. Because of the city's temperate climate, it's very popular with retirees, young families, and tourists alike, making it a great location for short-term rentals. Halifax, Nova Scotia. Halifax is Nova Scotia's capital and an Atlantic Ocean port, making it a fishing and transportation hub. Nova Scotia is a great area to go sailing, windsurfing, paddleboarding, or fishing. As more people become untethered to their urban commutes and downtown offices, smaller cities like Halifax, Dartmouth have become an attractive option for home buyers looking for the city lifestyle with a much lower property value. The Halifax region's average home price in 2021 was 35% lower than the national average, though for how much longer remains to be seen. With a seven-year run in average home price gains, the Halifax real estate market is in good shape and poised to get even better. And last but not least, Moncton, New Brunswick. Moncton is a tiny city in southern New Brunswick with slightly under 100,000 inhabitants. However, what it lacks in size, it more than makes up for in character and culture. It has a fantastic food scene, a plethora of festivals, and a reputation as one of the most up-and-coming places in Canada to do business. With the average property price remaining considerably below $300,000, Moncton is high on the affordability scale. And similar to Alberta, New Brunswick is a more landlord-friendly province with less restrictions on rent increases. Although, make note of their non-owner occupied property tax when running your rental numbers. As promised, here are the three major factors you need to look into when choosing where to invest in real estate. Number one, affordability. Your budget is likely to be the most influential factor in buying and you want to get the most bang for your buck. While Toronto and Vancouver appear to dominate the real estate conversation in Canada, smaller towns have a lot to offer those on a tighter budget. So why not seek a less expensive city instead of attempting to get the most affordable home in the most expensive city. Number two, growth. You want to invest your money in areas that yield the potential to have the highest increase in appreciation. Because home prices have risen at an unprecedented rate across the country in the last year, these areas are harder to find. But if you know what drives real estate prices and you can analyze a market based on the fundamentals, you'll have a better chance of landing in an area that will see larger than expected returns. And number three, lifestyle. Think about your target audience and what renters you want to live in your property. The city you choose will significantly affect who decides to live there. Think about these questions. Is it close to a university? What's the local economy like? Is it near public transportation? Canada is a vast and diverse country and each city has something you need to offer, whether it's a bustling urban paradise or a tiny village in the great outdoors. Find your ideal renter and search out properties that they want to rent. Now, I'd like to hear from you. Which city are you going to invest in? Let me know in the comments section below. Feel free to leave any real estate related questions there as well. If you're looking to learn more about how to analyze markets, it's one of over 30 modules in my real estate investing masterclass. Check it out at my website, darrenvoros.com. You can also follow me on Facebook and Instagram where I post regularly. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on Tuesday.